Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. Today, I want to show you guys the Thieves Den Avenger reset for January 13th, 2020. As you guys know, I don't really like doing videos on the Thieves Den Avenger too often, but whenever there is something being sold that's pretty good in my opinion, I like keeping you guys in the loop, and that is the case today. He is selling a couple items that are pretty good, and one item specifically, that's a must buy in my opinion, so definitely get on, definitely check him out, definitely buy this item if you are in need. Um, you know, maybe if, after you get off work or something, again, check them out and definitely buy this item. You have about 14 hours or so left. So anyway, the first thing is we are in DZ West. He's located currently in this location. And the first thing I do want to go over is actually the named gear piece. He is selling the claws out. This is a wyvern wear uh, holster that comes with 42% skill haste. Perfect bloodlust, which uh, weapon swapping grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. This buff is lost for 5 seconds if you weapon swap while it is active, and it requires 7 or more offensive attributes. We also have a uh, ongoing directive pair of gloves that they come with 3% SMG damage, 10% LMG damage. That 10% is okay, it's not the highest thing, you can get it up to 13%, but 10% is still pretty good, so maybe you are uh, still looking for that. You can buy this one if you have enough uh, kind of currency and roll this off. We have a True Patriot Mask that comes with 20% damage to elites and 19,000 health. This one's pretty good as well, I would say. Uh, you can definitely reroll the damage to elites for like critical hit chance if you want to use it for PvP or something else. It's your personal preference. The Hardwired Backpack is next on the list. This one comes with a Skill Haste, 2% weapon damage, 17,000 health, and Hard Hitting. Not really the best thing. Moving down, we have the Negotiator's Dilemma, and this is actually the one thing I was saying earlier that is a must-buy in my opinion. So what he's selling is 13% total armor on these knee pads. That, in my opinion, is a god roll. It is only 0.5% off from being a maxed out roll. The maxed out is 13.5 on knee pads. Uh, but this one's very, very high, and it's pretty hard to find knee pads with 13%. So definitely buy this one. Buy a few of them uh, so we could use it on your... You know, other builds, you can roll this off into your other knee pads that you might be using for a PvP build or PvE build, whatever the case is. 13% is very, very hard uh, to come by, in my opinion, especially if you are making like a kind of armor build or something like that. If you are focusing on that, the 13% is very, very useful. So once again, these things, in my opinion, are a must buy. Moving down, we have tip of the spear knee pads that come with 5.5 uh, critical hit chance, not the best thing. Aces and eights gloves that come with 5% assault rifle, 3% critical hit chance. These are pretty good as well. You can roll off the assault rifle and get something else like a higher roll of assault rifle damage or something like, um, you know, sniper rifle damage or or rifle damage, something like that. It's, it's really up to you. Uh, the military AKM is next. It comes with fast hands stable and everlasting then we also have the tactical super 90 that comes with reformation stable and cannon uh we have sokolov knee pads as well that come with uh, critical hit chance health on kill critical hit damage with hard hitting we also have a utility protocol mod with skill power increased confused duration and increased blind duration and we also have a seeker mine that comes with 49% health. So yeah, this is pretty much all the items from the Thieves' Avenger. Once again, you have about 14 hours left, like 13 and a half hours left uh, to buy these items. Definitely, definitely pick up these uh, knee pads for the total armor. Again, if you have enough credits, buy like three or four of them and just keep them in your stash. Roll off the attribute uh, onto your main knee pads and it's going to really benefit your build for PvP or PvE. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.